Good morning. Well, I don't know if you know what that is. That is a pretty deep hole. <laughs> I don't know if I could show you how deep, but I'm able to put a lot of my hand in there, my, my fingers. So as you can see, I've got these little flags up, and what that means is it's spring, and I'm working on just, so you know, growing some grass in a couple of areas. If you look, uh, you'll see a bunch of them, okay? But you can't win the war. There's no way you'll win the war, but this is a squirrel hole, and they just love to dig, and whether they're, I don't know if there's a nut in there that they had from the fall that they had to get on the spring, I don't know. So, number one, we're never going to win the war with squirrels, but we can try to win some of the battles. So, the moral of the story is I am going to try, you know, on the areas that I receive, I'm going to try to put down something that the squirrels can't get through so I can win some of the uh, battles. I'm not going to win the war, <laughs> but can I win some of the battles so i'll be back i'll show you what i'm talking about that i'm doing maybe it'll work this will be a two-part series i'm going to basically try it and see if it does work for me in some cases all right i'll be right back by the way this was a bunny that did this <laughs> right in the center of my lawn in the front of my house um I'm glad I caught it early before uh, the bunny decided to put her babies in there. Um, so that's good news. This always helps me, to be honest with you. I don't know if you see, but this is kind of like a one of the parts of a dog gate. <laughs> and then I just kind of anchor it down so it doesn't move. Um, normally the bunny comes back and tries to get in, but I noticed the last couple of days it didn't. So I now have to work on, you know, some soil and some seed on this one as well. But let me show you what I'm going to use. All right, guys, so it's all an experiment, all honesty. I went to Lowe's and I picked up a lid that cost me $2. This little plastic lid cost me $2. All right, and I wasn't sure if these were going to work. And then I walked down the aisle and I found these metal grids. Now, they're not cheap, I'll tell you. This metal grid here cost me $31. And then as I was walking, I went to another aisle and found, I guess this goes on a ceiling, if I'm not mistaken, and this cost me $16. So, I'm going to do some experiments. I, I don't know that I'm going to need this, I'll be honest with you. But I think this might work. Um, again, it's to prevent the squirrel from getting in to the newly seated areas, as well as the birds. Now, birds can peck their beak through here, but I don't, I don't think they can get it deep enough uh, with the seed being a little lower than the dirt. So I'm going to cut this up and let's find out. All right, so I cut a corner using these guys here, okay? Don't ask me the name of them, but I uh, usually use them to cut aluminum and things like that. And I'll, I'll put the name up on the screen, but as you can see, I did cut a, a corner that I will use in a small section that I have to reseed as an example. Um, you know, I'm probably going to do the same with this guy here, all right? What's going to survive? What's going to last longer? What can I reuse? That's going to be the question. So you kind of have to experiment. All right, guys. So here goes. I cut a piece of this plastic grid that I showed you earlier. I have this uh, Scott's Easy Seed that I'm going to use. This is a sun and shade mix. They also make a fall, uh, a fescue mix as well. Um, I have some dirt, uh, Scott's Turf Builder dirt that says it grows grass, so we'll find that out. You do need good soil. Um, you might already have good soil. You might not need to buy dirt. And then I'm going to use these to hold down the grid. I'm going to use probably four of these. All right, so I have to I started out already just cleaning it up, so, you know, now all that's left is a really big hole. If you can see, I got my fist in it. Um, that was obviously where she was going to have her babies, but on the front lawn, oh, no. I'm a big one for nature, so in the backyard I don't mess around. 
if they want to make babies in the backyard i have no issues even in the side of the front yard but this is center lawn so i'm sorry guys so as soon as i saw the hole i had to cover it up and i didn't see the bunny so no trouble no fights i do love nature so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take some soil and give me a minute because i have to grab it in uh here and just uh, all i want to do is put some nice soil uh in here as good as i can be all right, and uh, at this point, it's a, it's a good area um, that needs to be done. So I just want to get some soil. I'm going to put some grass, and then I'm going to put a um, I'm going to put the Scotts mix, you know, on top. You know, it's a mulch mix. Um, you know, it does need sun, so uh, that's why I went with something that was clear, like that grate, that plastic grate, is a little bit better than the metal one that I bought for $31. So I hope it lasts, you know, because I'd like to reuse it. I hate wasting, you know, we're in the world of waste, you know that. So that's pretty good, all right? I've got a nice little layer. And now um, I'm gonna do this by hand. This one zips, which is kind of nice. So break the seal. If you look inside, you see seed and you see mulch and all that good stuff. So, hi. I'm gonna take this, and what you wanna do, by the way, is you wanna really be generous. Don't be cheap. Be generous because, um, you know, if you're cheap, well, you might only get a little bit of the area filled in. You know, whereas if you're generous, you know, it's early right now. It's still, a, it's honestly cutting edge. I mean, right now it's uh, April, I don't know if it's the 12th, the 13th. It's April 13th. It's really not a good time for this, but I would normally do grass growing in the fall. Um, but with a hole like this, I can't leave it. We'll let the, you know, weeds grow. All right. Okay, I think I've really put enough down generously. What I want to do now is I want to wet it, and then I'm going to cover it. I am expecting more rain. All right, that's good. More rain is coming. All right, be right back. All right, so let's just put some water down here. And... Uh, Just a good start. All right, that's kind of it. You don't want to overdo it. All right. I sometimes end up overdoing it, but with the sun out, I just want to get the water around the area. All right, that's it for now. Every morning, as long as uh, I need to come out put this on now so here's the contraption right and it is spread ac across an area so I'm hoping to have all creatures leave this alone but yeah I'm just using these push pins down um, not too tight you know I'm, the grass is gonna have to stand up around it and grow Got four. Actually, you know what? Because this is pretty big, I'm going to put two on the side also. All right, one there. And these are these landscape pins, by the way. Um, I used to use. Um, oh God, what's that material? That uh, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> I used to use this burlap. Yeah, burlap. And um, it's okay, it works, you know. Um, again, you, you don't want to make it too tight. But, uh, yeah, so guys, we'll see, you know. That's down now. And water can get through it and sun can get through it. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is it's white and it sticks out, right? I mean, you know, when you look at the lawn, it sticks out. So guess what? We're going to go ahead and get some nice green paint and primer for outdoor and we're going to paint it green all right we're outside and we just put a coat on 
for this so we just make this green and listen if I can reuse this every year to, to you know win some of the fights or the battles not the war <laughs> with squirrels and rabbits and you know when I want to repair my lawn we'll see all right there you go I painted it green and honestly guys this is what I'm going with all right I decided not to use the metal grid or the plastic um, cover that I showed you because you know this kind of disappears in the lawn it doesn't stick out like the white one so that's what I'm going with guys and not too bad a little bit of green paint all right check this out Scott easy seed is already growing okay um, I wanted to add this to the end of my video but I want to show you <laughs> Scott easy seed is already growing this is all new grass right here. You see this? I mean, you know, obviously you saw this hole when I first, uh, I was able to put my fist in here. <laughs> um, and grass is growing. So I just need to keep watering, uh, making it full. Uh, and um, yeah, so it's good to see. And these grids are, are working great. I've got a few around. And uh, yeah, I'll fix up the patches and uh, continue to work on the lawn program. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.